Production from an early morning blaze can be seen at the back end of this Oshawa apartment building. Fire crews were called to the complex on Glen Street around 1 a.m. Upon arrival, they had heavy uh, fire conditions and smoke. You can see uh, by the damage that the fire was very intense. Chief Clark says firefighters were able to get everyone out of the building. However, the extent of the damage has displaced tenants from about 12 units. Uh, subsequently, we had two occupants go to the hospital. Uh, one was uh, smoke-related and, and released. And we have another resident that had a medical incident that has been admitted to hospital at this time. Those displaced were provided temporary shelter at the South Oshawa Community Centre before being transported to a hotel. When I opened my door, I couldn't even see my hand and my face. I felt bad the smoke was. Paul Swain has lived in the building for over four years. He lives on the second floor where damage was the most severe. Officials believe the fire started there. But Swain says he should be able to return to his unit on the opposite end of the building soon. I had uh, my house coat at the, the, the foot of the door so no smoke got in. So I was lucky that way. And I left my window open to air it out. From what I'm told, a tenant fell asleep with a lamp on and knocked it over and started their unit on fire. The building's owner was at the scene Thursday. He says he's dealing with insurance right now but is looking to see what they can do to help out those displaced. Some of them have water damage, a lot of them have smoke damage, so some of them, they won't be able to return for quite some time. The Ontario Fire Marshal is working with the Oshawa Fire Service to determine the cause of the blaze, which investigators say isn't being considered suspicious at this time.